This is a pork shoulder and sausage ragu. And it's a pretty technical recipe, so definitely don't do this if you're in a, a time crunch. Do this if you're trying to learn something. This recipe is absolutely mind-blowing. It's a big piece of pork shoulder here, um, about two pounds. There's a lot of fat on pork shoulder. I'm going to try to follow the natural lines of fat and take off. I don't want to dig too much for fat, but I also um, don't want a ton of fat in the dish because it will be fatty regardless because you're not going to dig for for the fat but anyway sometimes you take the fat off the meat and sometimes you take the meat off the fat whatever's easier um, you definitely want to get all the silver skin off and sometimes the butcher will do this for you so these are about one and a half two inch chunks it doesn't really matter you're going to cook it for a long time so it's going to become really tender like fork tender um, after a couple hours of cooking so salt and pepper this pretty liberally and then we're going to move over to the stove top so looking at these grits, I've got four different kinds of grits here, and I've decided on this one grit because it's the perfect amount. Um, I've also got cornmeal, polenta. There's all different kinds of grits um, and polenta, and um, they vary in different ways. I've got a local one here too that's white and red. Um, but anyway, pick your grit and look at the cooking instructions. I generally think of a one to four ratio with grits. Some recipes say one to three, um, but I go, I start with one to four. So one cup grits for um, parts water or liquid. You can make grits with broth, you can make grits with butter, with cheese, with whatever. Um, my grits are cooking for about 30 minutes. Um, you have to stir them all the time. They're sticky like cream of wheat if you ever grew up with cream of wheat instead of grits. So after about 30 minutes, this is done cooking. It's never been covered. I'm gonna add a little bit of cream and a Parmesan cheese and salt to taste. Um, you can leave dairy out. Uh, you could put more cheese in, that's always delicious. But this is a rich dish as it is. So I was just trying to show you a couple variations. This is pancetta and it's basically, it's bacon, but you don't have to cut it up or deal with it. It comes in a nice little, um, that was a four ounce patch. Um, or batch and I'm gonna throw that into a um, stock pot that's medium high heat it has a little bit of oil and I'm gonna cook it for um, just a little while until it's kind of kind of brown and it starts to get sticky with those caramelized sugars I've also started searing some pork um, on the side in the shallower nonstick pan just because I'm trying to speed up this process you could definitely wait until the pan um, pancetta is done but uh, you, there's so much pork. You'll, you'll do it in batches or just grab another skillet and brown it. So you're not trying to cook this pork. It needs to cook a very long time, but you are trying to get a nice sear on it. And once that's seared, we're going to um, move it all. I'm going to move all of this pork over into the other pan, and that pan is off the heat now. It's just like a holding plate for that pork. Throw in the um, ground Italian sausage. It could be mild or hot and then cook that for about eight minutes or until it's done. You know, it's got some brown crispy edges, bonus points for that. Move that all over into that um, other pan, but again, that pan is not on the heat. It's just a holding place. Throw in the vegetables, throw in some salt, throw in some more oil if you need it. Um, you may not need the oil, but I'm gonna cook that for about four to eight minutes or until those veggies are translucent. They can be, be beginning to brown, but um, it doesn't doesn't matter. You don't want them burnt or anything. Very dark brown. Throw in the garlic and cook and a little bit more oil. Cook that one to two minutes or until it's fragrant. At this point, we're gonna throw in all um, the pancetta is left on the side as a garnish. You could throw it in if you want, but I like to use it as a garnish. So throw the sausage and the pork shoulder back in. Bring it to a boil and reduce the heat to a simmer. Now you can either throw this in the oven at 325 for two hours covered or on the stove top at a simmer, two hours co uh, covered. The pork is gonna be really tender and I'm trying to show you this but it's not working, but basically you take a big fork and you smash it up against the sides and the bottom until it's just all fell apart into this one big nice meat sauce. Um, it's not a lot of sauce, it's meat based, it's heavy um, and it's pretty amazing. Throw it over your grits, garnish it with the pancetta. You can add mozzarella or parmesan. You can add some more red chili flakes. Um, beautiful, delicious recipe and find it at eatsimplefood.com.